Welcome to my studio. I'm Bonnie Lahoda. Today I am going to walk you through the process for making an emulsion lift using the Canon Selfie Photo Printer. The printer prints a 4x6 image on a paper that is uh, a dye sublimation thermal uh, transfer. These are little tiny sheets of cellophane-like material that are printed one at a time in the printer. Uh, these can be sent to the printer using your iPhone or from your computer. The materials that we use to do this, first of all, it's the Dossart Legion paper uh, that is made with an optimized surface for the Dossart processes and it works beautifully with this uh, emulsion transfer. The other materials that we use are the uh, Dossart Wondersauce Clear and the Universal Precoat. The first thing to do is to do your print and then place the print into a tray of very hot water. It'll take about four hours for the emulsion to loosen. And you can see it's loosened here in this one that I put in uh, last night. Next, you're going to put a, about a quart of water into a nice uh, smooth tray. I use these Corian, uh, Coriel, uh, trays because they're easy to wash and keep clean and I also like the white surface so that I can see the emulsion floating in the water. Once the emulsion has loosened, you'll pick it up, leaving it on the backing of the paper, slide it into the new tray of water. And in this tray of water, I have added one tablespoon of the universal pre-coat for each cup of water. And what the pre-coat does is it allows the uh, emulsion skin to adhere better to the Dossart Upo. When you put your skin in here, don't turn it over. You want to keep the side that was on the uh, backing down on the bottom side. That can soak there. And while you're waiting, apply two layers of the Wonder Sauce Clear to a sheet of the uh, Dossart Yupo. Let it dry between each layer. What that does is it creates an uh, absorbent surface so that the emulsion can stick to it. Uh, I usually uh, make up a lot of these papers ahead of time. This one has already been coated twice, so I'm just going to place it here. Now you're going to need a wide rubber roller. Uh, this is a soft brayer from uh, the art supply store. What you're going to do is take the paper that has the coated side, slide it underneath the emulsion, and lift it up slowly. And the pre-coat that's in the water also helps make this slippery so that you're able to manipulate it. So you can change the shape of your emulsion, drain the water off, you don't like it, you can dip this back in and rearrange it again. I think I like that one. Well, maybe I'll move that around just a little bit. There we go. Okay, then place that onto a very hard, smooth surface. I'm going to use the brayer and start in the middle and very lightly push the water out. Now you can also use one of these little fan-shaped brushes to pull the water out first if you'd like. And this is also a handy little brush to arrange the distortions that you'd like to have in your image. Now these bubbly water spots have to be raked out or you're going to just rearrange this every time you put the roller over it. So there's a nice shape. So lightly this is going to be rolled across and pulled across what this does is it's, it's raking the water out from underneath the film. And as you do this, slowly increase the pressure so that the film is making full contact with the uh, Yupo paper. And then I like to take a paper towel and wipe some of this water off of these edges. And also dry off my roller a little bit. Now it's going down nice and smooth. This is perfect. Okay, and let's wipe off the edge again. 
And that is it. Very simple, quick to do, lots of fun. Uh, people like to scan these and then blow them up and make larger artworks that are beautiful, uh, scanned and then created uh, with other transfer processes from the Das Art Collection. And then you can work over the top of those with encaustic or any other kind of collage and paint that you might like. But this is a nice way to get a very hand done, natural looking distortion of an image that cannot be done in Photoshop. And this is truly one of a kind.